How's it going, everyone? My name is Do Girl, and welcome back to Dragon Fable. Last time we left off, we just found out that Galanoff was the current quote unquote speaker for the quote unquote great one. Known as, also known as the sleeping dragon beneath the village of Dragon's Grasp. Uh, but this week we are back to a reimagined quest for Solonesca. So, uh, let's do it to it. And instead of taking the usual path, the short link here, if you're playing this in the future, this won't be here. So, we're going to take the long way. We go to the Book of Lore, End of Magic 3, Travel Map, Kingdom of Gringard. This time we're going to Oaklore. And Selenesca is right here. I'm going to travel to there. Go straight to Kara. And back up. Go to past quests. And here we go. So, I know it says we this has already been done and everything, but it, I know it says it hasn't been done, but it has been done. So, And this has been done now twice. Uh, the problem I'm having is still with the sensitivity, and I've got the mouse as low as it will possibly go as far as click speed, but it's still, I still might skip a speech bubble or two. I'm not sure. See? With so many refugees and now soldiers joining the resistance, we're, low, we are, we're running low on resources. I've called a meeting to hopefully address this situation, and I'd like you you to attend, Justina. Okay, let's go. The Trevia need more room, Kara. The current arrangements are too cramped for their rings. I... I think I could arrange that. And what of the Clarkin? Our young are to have too few safe places to spend their energy. Um... The resistance goes... For the resistance forces grow by the day as well. Forging in the swamp may, be, will, may work for some, but keeping an army supplied will take much more than that. Much more. Oh. Oh. Why am I even here? Ah, Melissa, you got the message, then. Yeah, so... What do you need me for? As you can see, Solanesca is facing a number of logistical problems. The surrounding swamp is dangerous, and expanding our territory too quickly may draw unwanted attention. We are also struggling to keep everyone fed and safe. We have many refugees and soldiers, but we don't have the systems in place to support them. And? Well, I thought since you're a princess, you might have some better insight on how best to proceed. Hmm. I, I apologize if I presume too much. This has all been swept up in the wind as much quicker than I had anticipated. Never had much interest in the whole leadership thing. I... I see. Hmm. Is it just me, or does it seem like Sparks is willing to sl sleep anywhere? <sighs> well, he is a growing dragon. 
Babies do need a lot of sleep. Hmm. What about asking Falcon Reach for help? Aren't they already providing weapons and supplies? Maybe they could take in a few more refugees and provide some spare food. That's true. We could ask them for more help. Maybe an alliance? While they're currently provisioning us with resources, they're not supposed to be. King Alton's protection of the Falcon Reach from the ro from Rose interference came under the stipulation that they do not outright support the Rose. The Rose can't interfere with Falcon Reach. Falcon Reach and Falcon Reach can't interfere with the Rose. Asking them to take a larger, more obvious role in, well, the Resistance, could bring that delicate balance crashing down. Bahochu, what do you think? Would your people be comfortable moving to Falconrich? In all truth, I can only imagine that most would prefer to take their chances in the swamp than to move into the city of humans. Our traditions and connection to nature is important to us. Surrounded by dead stone and dead trees would cause great distress to many. I understand, Bahochu. I will not we will not force the clocking to leave. But for those that can or are willing, this could be a promising option. Unless we can secure the route, it will be a tough proposition. Many who lost everything risked their lives to end up in Selenesca, asking them to brave the swamps and face the unknown once again. I'd say do what you have to. What's the point of building a resistance, breaking people out of prison, and saving people from the rose? If you can't be bothered to risk more to defend them. Yes, you're right, Melissa. I don't think there's any love for the Rose in Falconreach. I'm sure they'll do their best to help if we asked. Well, being the hero of Falconreach, I think we can trust your judgment on that. Uh, I mean, I'd have to ask Ash, and I'm not sure what the Guardians are up to these days. What a wonderful idea. If you could establish a more formal dialogue with Falconreach, I'm sure they'll listen to you. <laughs> what did I just volunteer for? You can't, like, send a magical message or a letter or something. It wouldn't be the same impact. It wouldn't have the same impact as you and Spock's. The heroes, in person, or oh, dragon. Here, let me draft a letter for you to deliver to Ash. And, of course, since we're trying not to draw attention to ourselves, I strongly suggest you and Sparks avoid the main roads, if possible. Avoid the main roads, right. Okay, so, yeah, this week has been, I don't know, really. Um, thankfully not as eventful as last week, but still, wow, just, just. I don't know what to think. I'm just, music's making me kind of sleepy. I'm glad Sparks is with me, though, and that's kind of cool he follows us. Okay, that was easy enough. Caffeine. 
Yeah, I'm still not quite up to uh, up to par on for broadcasting for caffeine again. I'm still struggling with a lot of energy loss and um, fatigue. Unfortunately, it's just I'm tired. Uh, a, 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 a lot more often than I would like and it's not the kind of tired where you just take a nap and it goes away no if anything napping makes it worse and I'm sorry I'm taking so long to do this episode but I'm looking for uh, the last time I saw this map which is when we had to do the quest with uh, lock and key not the one with not the last quest with lock and key but uh, sometime in the year 2020 uh, July I think it was in the meantime I'm just enjoying the music it's very relaxing actually yeah here it is March 26th 2020 the last lucky day so the last lucky day this was almost the exact same map and I looked up here and you fight like off two enemies and you get like a bunch of health restoring things a bunch of health restore things hang on yeah, right here, the pink, the purple things. You fly off the Rose Soldier and you can get those, so. And you'd think after all this time that Tristina was doing these adventures and stuff, she'd actually be, I don't know, a little bit more well-versed. Do you want to eat these big pink glowy mushrooms? They look different from the rest, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. They were actually quite tasty. You feel revigorated and a bit dizzy. And your tongue glows, which is neat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. More baddies. Now four more baddies. <coughs> also, I found a mod for uh, Sonic Adventure. You may have noticed that the graphics were a bit off, and there was uh, the voices were the voice acting was a bit muffled. Um, not from me, but from the actual voice actors. Uh, so I found a mod that restored everything to the Dreamcast, the way it was in the Dreamcast, so it's a bit nicer. Who did who did the voice acting for, for uh, Eggman and Sonic in Sonic Adventure? I can't remember. Uh, more mushies. Later, I'm gonna have to laugh because all the stuff we're carrying around. Okay, I think this is the last guy. I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is the last fight. So, should be easy enough. Yeah. Yep, okay, last fight. Okay, we're almost there. Here we are, Falcon Reach. Hero, huh? Hmm. Hero or Aaron girl? Ah, Tristina! Welcome back to Falcon Reach. Uh, what's that? What was that you're muttering? That you What was that you're muttering about? Surprisingly peaceful. Any word from our friends? I have a letter from you. For you, from Kara. Somewhere in my bag. <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of the is I'm pretty sure some of these weapons I've sold. <laughs> Armor, weapons. <laughs> Just like random potion bottle. <laughs> oh god. No, not that. Not that. Wanna sell that later. Not that. Cookies! <laughs> Was that a cornucopia that just flew by? <laughs> a little squash, a little... What is that? It should be, still be readable. Let's take a look. I see. I see. Hmm. Can you give me a day or two... I'll have to set up some meetings, discuss matters with the Guardians. Of course, I'll just be staying at the inn, resting. 
<laughs> Sounds like you deserve it, Justino. I'll do what I can and pull what strings need to be pulled. I'll do my best to see that Solanesca will have Falconrich's full support. Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, sorry about, again, I, I have the mouse at the lowest possible sensitivity, and it's still too high. So, I don't know what else to do. I guess, I guess it's just something I'll have to deal with. Hopefully Ash can get everything sorted. Time for some long-deserved rest in the meantime. Yes. Also, uh, before we leave, though, before I end the episode, I want to show off something. I think I'm actually going to make this part of a series where if I get so get something or buy, or buy something new, I'll show it off. Where is it? Look at this. I bought the Chronomancer armor. Not from buying a calendar, but actually uh, they're transitioning the Hero Mart to, to the game more so you can buy it for Dragon Coins. And thank you, thank you, thank you again, Nimu, for d your donation. Uh, about 4,000 Dragon Coins went into this. So, yeah. Let's see what it looks like with my gear. Okay. Oh, wow. I look awesome. But the eyes are weird, though. And plus, it's since I'm floating and everything, the... Uh, it, it's off camera, but yeah. What is that button? What is that button behind my head? I can still click it, but what is it? Hang on. I gotta find out. What's that button? Oh, okay. Left or right. Okay, okay. Also, look. We got new colors! Woo! Oh, that's gonna be a nightmare if I do that. Oh, shoot, yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's it for this week's Dragon Fable. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and comment down below. I really do appreciate it. Special thank you to Nemu for, for providing the Dragon Coins for me to finally be able to purchase the Chronomancer armor. Take care of each other. God bless you all. And I'll see you all later. Woo! Wonder what's gonna happen next.